speaking of coach, I just had a conversation with him, and uh, I think he's ready to get you in the starting lineup. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Do I look like Ashton Kutcher? Who? Punked. I don't know what you're talking about, coach. Oh, man, you're making me feel old, <laughs> MP. It's the world. I'm MP world. I saw y'all commenting on my video. Y'all was asking, how do I start? How do I start in my NBA career? Y'all got to go under your quest and look under your season goals. And your coach wants you to get t uh, 10 games with a B grade or higher. So that's one thing you got to do. And then also you got to do the coach drills. You got to complete the coach drills. Now for the coach drills, they're not going to be there every day. But whenever you see a team practice, make sure you go and you see that logo above coach's head. That's when it's time to do a coach drill. So he wants you to do two of those. So it's 10 games with a grade B or higher and then two uh, coach drills. So it's a little bit of a grind. But um, if you don't knock those out in like 10 to 15 games, they will give you a new season goal. And that's what you see right here. Uh, mine actually went from 10 down to four games with a grade B or higher. And then it went from two coach drills to one coach drill. Um, so I'm just trying to give y'all a couple tips in order to, you know, knock this out a little bit faster. Um, one in the Mac career games, just make sure you uh, keep scoring and don't make mistakes because it's hard to get that B grade because you don't have that much time to be in the game. You probably only get like four minutes in the game just to play. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you know you're scoring. And then if you're a point guard, assist. And if you're a bigger guy, make sure you're getting your rebounds. It shouldn't be that hard for the big guys to get, you know, the B grade. But if you're a point guard, just make sure you don't do anything dumb because going for steals and getting fouls, that'll lower the grade. Getting turnovers, that'll lower the grade. So just try to make sure you could do what you can. You know what I mean? And also you want to try to go for takeover too. That's a big thing. You don't have much time to do it, but you could do it. And if you can, you'll be able to stay in the game longer if you pop your takeover on. So you could get an extra two minutes, you know, to be in the game if you get your takeover. So you got to make sure you try to try to get that as early as you can, as fast as you can, so you can stay in the game a little bit longer. Um, but like I said, if you don't complete the 10 games, just keep grinding. And uh, eventually the coach will ask you to come to the office and he'll have a talk to you about, you know, your game, your game play and how you've been playing lately and you know, eventually he'll change the goal to something a little bit lower. So, um, yeah, man, just make sure y'all go hard in the game and you'll be good, man. That's the, the couple tips I have for y'all. Uh, just keep playing hard. Y'all boys is going to be good, man. But this is for all, everybody that was wondering how you, you know, could become a starter. So, um, y'all boys is going to be straight, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, make sure y'all do them coach drills. Like I said, they're not going to be in there every single day, but they're going to be in there, man. We just grinding hard. Don't make mistakes. Score as much as you can. You're going to be good, man. Let me know if this helped y'all in the comments, man. We grinding. Until next time, it's the world.